feels terrible, doesn't it? Fascinating. Does each citizen have their own? What do you think? Two of them are missing. Alexander and Ruth Watson. Hmm. Family? Being courted by two brothers at once rarely ends well. Personal experience. Don't go there. Alexander Watson, the cobbler's wife and brother. He's surely haunted, but where's the ghost? I think we need to talk to Caleb Watson. It's ours anyway. Should have been ours since the beginning. You've done enough sniffing, hmm? Tired of the smell of your own ass. You said you had no secrets. That was a lie, am I right? Everyone has secrets. I can smell your secrets from here, mate. A pox on you. And a pox on your questions, too. You're not taking head on. You must take your time. Outflank him. There's bond debris out back. I found bone in it. Where does it come from? You must have little business if you spend your time sifting through my rubbish. It came from the house. Probably. I read your letter to Ruth. It's clear you loved her. Will you tell the truth about Alexander's infidelity? My name is Caleb Watson. And before God, and all present, I swear that the letter I wrote to Ruth was a load of shite. Lusting for his beloved Ruth, I set out to ruin Alexander's name, cause I'm a greedy little prick. You're frank. You don't sound like you regret it though. No, the past the past, dead and buried. My brother is but a lingering memory. It was terrible what happened to your wife and brother. It might have helped if you'd mentioned that. You must be grieving. Do you mind if I ask where they're buried? 
Shite on me, shite bag brother. And shite on you too. They're both deep in the dirt up at God's Acre, and I'll speak no more of it. What's going on at God's Acre, Caleb? Shite off with your God's Acre, and good riddance to both. God's Acre concerns you not. You need to tell me what happened here. Stop hiding. Nothing happened. I buried... I buried all... Quiet, you. And you can shite off. Taking your nothing happened with you. Whatever happened, it happened at God's Acre. This is wrong. It's wrong, wrong, I tell you. Thoughts on Caleb? You first, young man. I'm thinking possession, but not demonic, no mirror or whatnot. Mm, agreed. Possession is plausible. We jump to no conclusions. Instead, we gather proof. There's a lock. I'm gonna need a key. Who's that? Yes. Something's here. I feel something close. God's Acre? God's Acre. Too heavy to lower from your side.
Here we are. Let us find the graves of Alexander and Ruth, and whatever got Kate up acting so strange. Someone's been doing some undertaking. In New Eden, there's much to be done. for you. I have another in sight. Watch out. Spectre possession. Robbers. Yes, but what exactly were they stealing? Watson, there's another grave beneath it. Undertakers did this, they should find other work. I doubt there's a job on Earth that suits whatever did this. Decoys to distract wayward spectres. Rudimentary. Someone's had a little training. Here did lie Alexander Watson. Did Caleb take their bodies? Someone did. And he's at the top of my list. Well, they made quite the mess. Perhaps the decoys may show us the way. Follow the path. Don't get too close. I'll try. This way, more of them. said don't get too close. D 
demonology. I should have known. Again. If he's persistent, I'll grant him that. Hey, we shake, don't you? Back here now. They've got back up. Got another trick up your sleeve. I feel like I hate those things. Wasn't your first, won't be your last. Aye, thank you. Shrines now? With bones? It's like Lady Blackwood's boudoir around here. All the motions are trapped here. Nasty, yes, but also shoddy. It's very poor work. Are you sure we didn't miss anything? With a bit of luck, we'll find what we need. What is this? It looks like a butchered version of the ritual of lesser palingenesis. The ritual of that ritual? The one that brings someone back. That ritual. Yes, that ritual. I summon you now! Point passes an infinity of paths. As flesh unto verb, as verb unto heart, as heart unto flesh. Death's knot is unsevered, and I shall cut it. Come to me, Ruth. Come 
Come to me, my love. Come back to me. Caleb Watson invoked a ghost without a body for it to inhabit, so it took his. Caleb is no longer Caleb. He got the wrong ghost too. He used pieces of his wife and also of his brother. Ruth, Alexander, Caleb could be any combination of them in there. Let's go find out which. Did we miss a few? Something's nearby. Where is it?
That ritual, I'm not... I suspect it's beyond me. It's not, but we agreed he won't need it. Besides, Caleb's work was poor. Your work is good. A ritual like that. Good is not a word that comes to mind. Good day to you, Mr. McGrath. I'd wish you the same if I knew your name, sir. Ishmael Law. I have seen you in the meeting house. I have recognized the markings on your hands. I would have liked to have been a banisher, to tackle with the mysteries of our world. That must be something. You wanted to be a banisher? That's unusual. As a child, I met a banisher. I was impressed by the marks on his hands, the assurance in his demeanor. He made me feel safe. You do God's work, though you know it or not. Like Charles Davenport, I respected the minister a great deal. He's a terrible loss. You wanted to become a banisher. Why didn't you? I got married instead. Came to New England. Ruined everything. Tell me about folk round here. A vast subject that requires, perhaps, a more specific question. Tell me about Governor Haskell. A man like me does not get to know a man like him. He is a man of faith. We all trust him. That's all I can say. Tell me about Lamentation Haskell. Nice boy. Very secretive. I do not understand the things he says. Fortunately, he does not say them to me. <laughs> How about you? How are you feeling? Hmm. I've not been asked this in a long time. I am feeling... a bizarre conflict between faith in the Lord and sheer unholy terror. Thank you for your help. You are welcome, sir. Hush now. All is well. Nothing but shite off. We've been to God's Acre. Quite a tale it told us. You're not Caleb, are you? Or at least not entirely. Ah, can't fog you. Alexander Watson. Long tale short, Caleb tried to bring his dead wife back. And I live here now. So many questions. Where to even start? He was trying to bring his wife back. How did you end up in the mix? Caleb made a fine cobbler. A poor brother. A worse husband and a truly terrible witch. The ritual went to shite, because, <laughs> of course it did. <laughs> Do both of you share Caleb's body? Share? <laughs> no. This house of flesh is mine. But because I am a generous man, I allow my brother to live in the cellar. We were twins. I was the rotten half, they said. But who's the rotten half now? There's something else you should know, if you don't know it already. I'm not alone. I completed the ritual. My darling Ruth is in here too. 
You used the ritual to bring Ruth's spirit into Caleb's body. Why? Love moves us all to strange endeavours. We deserve a better life. I set myself to claiming it. I understand your anger, more so your desire. But what of Ruth's? Did you consider what she wanted? Caleb stole a life from me, but he also stole Ruth's voice. She shrank beneath him. Of course she wanted a second chance at life. I'd like to hear this from Ruth. May I please speak with her? No! We've carved ourselves out a little happiness at last. I'll not have you break it. Please, leave us alone. Give us this. We need to speak to her, one way or another. If he won't tell us anything, perhaps the house Ruth died in will. Caleb was no saint, but this is hellish grim. Does he deserve it? Aye, he does. And it's not like I killed him. He's alive in here somewhere. Watching me ruin his name. He can hear me now. Destroying his reputation. As I had to hear him destroy mine when he painted me a fornicator. How oh, nice. He took our love, Ruth and mine, and killed it. Now our love's reborn, and he can do naught but sit and watch. Caleb was a cad. Shite on him. Let him suffer. You died trying to save Ruth from a burning house. True. True. I'm sorry. There's an awful way to go and so young too. You deserve better. We deserved better and now we have it. And with it, Caleb gets to make amends. For he did nothing. He stood and watched us burn. Caleb's name was ruined then. We're just putting the boot in. You're well placed to see what goes on around here. Help me out. Have you seen anything noteworthy? I've made a point of keeping people away, but I, I see things. And I take note. Lammy Haskell, any thoughts about him? The Haskell boy? What about him? He's weird. Talk with Caleb about nonsense. Both of them were full of shite. What's your take on the governor? My brother gave him the glad hand act, and the governor lapped it up. Askell's opinion of himself is far too high. To win his favour, you need only prop him up. He dragged my name through the dirt. Shite on him, and his so-called eloquence. What use is a silver tongue when your heart is yellow? Tell me about folk here. Who stands out for you? What think you of them? What think I of they who shunned me? Gulled by my black-mouthed brother. What think I of malicious fools for whom I had to die to be redeemed? I'd say a curse upon them. <laughs> but tis too late. The curse has already come. How goes the settlement, would you say? It's going to hell in a shitting handcart. Not that I care, mind. But there's sport in guessing who shall live and who shall die. Hope they find that witch, though. Can't have witches about the place doing the devil's work. Uh, it's hope they find... I'll be leaving you alone for now. Alone? <laughs> Not really. Hush now. All is well. Ruth and Alexander are having an affair again. in her husband's body. I can't find an angle with that. Isn't just plain wrong? Something feels wrong. Something about Ruth. If we find the ghost tie, we can talk to her. House that burned down. The roof fell in with them inside. There's a lot of debris.
Destroy those ghost wards, if you want me back. I'm at your side again. I can make short work. be nearby. <laughs> this work shows real sensitivity. Caleb? Maybe. Not Alexander. I suspect we've just learnt a little about Ruth. Of course. 
Ruth's heart binds them like a bushel of rotting corn. You! What do you have there? Stop right there, you rank rump! Whatever you found, it ain't yours! You buried Ruth's heart in the ashes of the house that killed her. I find that odd. You, a ghost, went digging in the ashes of a dead woman's house. You're ill-positioned to call me odd. Don't think I haven't felt your presence before. Stow your tongue while I speak with Ruth. Ruth, can you hear me? Can you speak? Puck off and die! I'm in charge here! No! Hush ye, Alexander. I'll speak. I'm Ruth. I hear you. I'm Antea Duarte. We're here to help. Oh, I'm glad. Please, end this nightmare. Help me. Oh, go to hell in a bag of shite. We're fine. And you have not the right, you hear? You've not the right. Her heart! Give it back! He can fall. No more does he silence me. We may speak. Help me, please. Who taught Caleb the resurrection ritual? To say it was taught would mean he'd learned it. He read it off a page. As a sorcerer, Caleb makes a fine cobbler. Think about Caleb, he was a good listener. As he worked, clients would bend his ear. The Haskell boy, for one. As Caleb pinned the governor's shoes, young Lammy would talk magic. N nonsense, really. But Caleb was listening. Wait, well, Lammy Haskell gave Caleb the resurrection ritual. After Lammy mentioned the ritual, Caleb became obsessed with it. He begged. Lammy, in his misplaced generosity, gave it. Caleb was intent on dark work. Lammy furnished written instructions. Caleb's letter changed your life. How did it feel at the time? <sighs> it tore me in two. I loved Alexander, but I deserved to marry a man who would be true. Caleb seemed decent. I, I believed he loved me. I thought I'd married the better brother, but I'd married a liar. A liar and a devil. <sighs> and yet, not even he deserves this. No one deserves this. How did Caleb treat you? With adoration. I was an idol. Worshipped, yet unloved. He was the sculptor and I was the statue. Smiling down, unmoving from my pedestal with nothing to say. Now I'm sewn into a festering sack with the quivering remnants of my husband and the angry ghost of his dead brother. Please, let me out. Ruth, your husband Caleb's botched resurrection ritual brought you back, but allowed his brother Alexander to take you hostage. Once we deal with the Watson brothers, you shall be free to ascend. Do what you must. I'll suffer it if it leaves me free to go. No! We can stay. Please, Ruth, let us stay. Look at you. Your counterfeit, a sham of a thing. Your so-called life is no life at all. Caleb lied and stole your love. But when the time was right, you lied and stole his body. We're ending this nonsense now.
Alexander, you were wronged, but Ruth owes you not. Not her life, nor her death. I'm not my brother. I am the man who runs into the burning house. Ruth owes us nothing, but my love is true and his is not. Your love is not measured by what you win. It's measured by what you're willing to let go. I... I'm sorry, Ruth. You deserved better. Better than him. Better than me. Send me away, Banisher. Let the devil stoke the flames of hell for me. And we'll see if I burn. Take your head out your arse, you're not that important. Right, hold still, both of you. Let me pry you all apart. Farewell. Are they gone? Am I speaking with the cobbler, Caleb Watson? That you, Caleb? I, I, I think... Uh, yes, that's me. Or it, it was me, once. For my bastard brother was my hollow keeper. You're not entirely innocent, though. If you'll permit the unfortunate expression, there was more than one of you in it. I. You were in it too. He ruined my name, ruined my flesh, ruined my wife. You gave him a pat on the cheek of his ass and, and sent him on his way. I am an, an imperfect man. My brother was a bastard and, and sly and he tricked you onto his side. What does that make you? I too am an imperfect man. I have mercy and patience in limited supply. Let's not test those limits further, eh? I mean, we've seen some horrors, but that... This is the work. You're right. There's nothing I'd rather be doing. That was something. Don't take it to heart. Their choices are not your business. Our choices are my business. And the consequences too. Don't waver. We could win a battle, but we can't win the war. Nobody should conquer death. And we don't want to pay the price of trying. Hey, she was audibly busy today. Wait. Spectral stains. Haunted house.
primer. Looks new. Looks local. I'm busy. What do you want? What happened to your hands, you? An angel came down from heaven and gave me the mark of the Lord Jesus. We may talk about his good word, if you wish to hear it. Stigmata? That's surprisingly Catholic. I'll assume you did not mean that slander. But be warned, I'll not take it again. Tell me about this angel. How did you meet? The angel is my sister, and she bears the mark of the Lord. Marcy wandered in the wilderness for many days and nights. And then, one day, she returned to lead her people to salvation. He's haunted by a ghost, but thinks she's an angel. I hope you're taking note, Red McGrath. Speaking from personal experience, she's likely not an angel. She's probably a ghost. Oh, thou of little faith. I have not yet met God, but I do not question his existence. Perhaps I should envy her certainty. If you are blessed enough to meet my sister, then you'll change your mind. I'd like that. Where can I find her? Near the old mill, hidden at the end of Long Beach, is a cave. Our sacred place. She will be there. They never could find her body. But she is still there. What news around and about? On what subject in particular should I deign to answer? Tell me about the governor. A fervent believer. A good-hearted man. A strong man. And yet, he's an exorcist. He calls upon evil spirits. What if one day he calls them, and they come? Tell me about Lamentation Haskell. Get him to tell you himself, if you can get him to talk. He's quaint, that one. And by that I mean he's strange. I'll not call him an unbeliever, sir. I'll just question what he believes in. How's life in the Harrows, then? Life is test upon trial, upon tribulation, upon ordeal, leading inexorably to a place in paradise at God's right hand. I must take my leave of you, sir. God keep you, for I shall not. puts his faith in his sister's ghost, he's a fool. He's looking to his faith to give him answers. But he's looking in the wrong place.
Good day to you, Caleb. Feeling better? Know what I dislike about you? Your kind heart. You're kind to bloody everyone, even my bastard brother. How goes it? Are you well? Well? Well as I can be in a world where a banisher will hound the living while glad handing the dead. He's gone. Nothing else should matter. The manner of the parting matters. Because because it should bring justice. You let a demon go in peace, and now I'll do the same for you. I know about your dealings with Lammy Haskell. Care to fill in the gaps? <laughs> Prig of a kid. Thought himself cleverer than he was. Mm, so did I. Still, he can keep a secret. I'll grant him that. Didn't see it then. But he was using me. He gave me that ritual, so to see if it'd work. You dug up the dead and made a puppet from their bones. I'm not sure Lammy's entirely to blame here. I was desperate. I was grieving. I'd lost everything. Better men than me would do the same, and worse men too. You tore your own family from their eternal rest. How do you live square with that? I wished to save Ruth. That were all. I made the form, but Alexander made the boot. I knew his heart were black when none else did. They saw him as he was by the end. But they never saw the real you, did they? You paint yourself the good brother, hard done by. You're not. You're both shite bags. Never mind. Cobbler must hear much talk. What news about? What species of news takes your interest? How about the feeling about the village? How should I know? My name is Pigshite round here now. And thank you very much for that. No one talks to me. But if my name lies in a puddle of shite, Haskell's drowns in an ocean. He's weak, they say. <laughs> Bogus. A puff-chested shite hawk dressed as a cock. Folk round here, eh? anyone stand out for you? My name was good here. I had position, I had regard. That's all drowned in a puddle of shite now. Let me tell you about the people here. Miserable, judgmental bastards the lot. Come. I'll leave you in peace, Mr. Watson. There's no peace for the righteous, Mr. McWraith. Only the wicked rest easy. <laughs>